this might be the best gaming keyboard of all time. The majority of us are familiar with the Zoom 75 and most likely familiar with the term Hall Effect as well. If you're not, I'm gonna dive into that in just a bit. But what's most important is ever since I first met this keyboard at CES this year, I've been thinking about it. And now, it's finally in my hands. While it's true the Book 75 keyboard is certainly in the same family as the Zoom 75, which isn't a bad thing at all. It actually stands on its own though, being the first ever board by Mellatrix to utilize the magnetic switches, also known as Hall Effect or HE. So essentially the PCB inside the Book 75 magnetically responds to the switches, allowing you to use software to adjust your actuation and release points to enhance your gaming inputs. So this has been done before, right? <laughs> well, let's talk about why this is slightly different with this board, starting with the design. The Bug 75 is a beautiful pre-built gaming geared version of the Zoom 75 board that was released later last year. Coming in two variations, the white and golden, which we have here, and the black and teal, which I caught an early sneak peek of. And lucky for you, if you already own a Zoom 75, you can even purchase the HE module, which includes Gateron KS37B switches, an aluminum plate, gaskets, and the PCB required for the Hall Effect features. But you'll be locked into the two U keys in the top corner, so no screen on this bad boy. With it being so gaming focused, of course you've got a ton of perky RGB to cycle through. Mellatrix and Wuche Studio have incorporated some artistic patterns into the design along the sides as well as the bottom surface. And honestly, this is in the top three for the prettiest back weights I've ever seen. Might even be number one, but let's keep Mellatrix on their toes. Out of the box, the Book 75 from a pre-build perspective really shined bright like brighter than my future type of brain. Feels kind of like I built it myself, and quite frankly, it looks, feels, and sounds amazing. And not just for a gaming keyboard either. This pre-built feels like a custom with loop switches, stabs, and foam, and they did a really great job in my opinion. Sound tests coming in just a few. So the typing feel is on the stiffer side, but in my opinion, that's kind of necessary considering how sensitive the magnets and the switches respond. Any extra flexing could result in improper readings. Speaking of readings, Let's talk about that software and the real big selling point of this board. It's not QMK or VIA compatible, but you wouldn't necessarily want that because you want to control and adjust your per key actuation and release speeds. Logging into the online configuration program for the Bug 75, I noticed a very clean interface that was far more simple to use than I even expected. Allowing up to three individual keyboard profiles, you can customize different actuation settings for different games, etc. Among other standard keyboard features like changing the keystrokes, macros, and you can even set multiple functions to single keys now. And it's pretty interesting that you can adjust your actuation sensitivity right in the board too, so you don't have to use the program. So if you use FN and tab, then press home, it'll select the whole board, and then you can use the page up and page down to kind of adjust the sensitivity. Up is obviously gonna be higher, and then down is gonna be lower, which is less sensitive, which is kind of like less responsive. You also can press FN tab and select each key individually that you want to affect. And if you want to reset it all back to normal, you can just hit the delete key and it'll basically restore it to the default. Now for the sound test. And I wanted to give you guys a fair warning. This might ruin your standard for keyboards. Mostly if you've never had a custom keyboard of this caliber. I mean, obviously I'm kidding, but you never know. Some people are still typing on rubber domes. Let's check it out. The Book 75 performs amazing. I noticed a significant change in input speeds and reaction time during gameplay, and comparing it to a non Hall Effect keyboard, the difference is night and day, especially for those little minute inputs that could make or break your game movement. This is mostly attributed to the magnetic Gateron KS37B switches. They utilize the new dual rail design that help with stem stability and are pre-lubed. The board also has 1000 Hz pulling rate for lower latency. Now, a lot of you are likely wondering if you should get the Book 75 if you already have the Wooting HE. And to be honest, there's a ton of aesthetic bonuses you get with the Bug 75 over the Wooting. That's pretty clear. I mean, you get a full aluminum bodied enthusiast grade custom mechanical keyboard that requires no modding at all. And it's one of those boards that you'll likely never want to part ways with. But how's the performance? Now, when it comes to performance, 
which is likely what you gritty gamers out there care far more about. <laughs> this is certainly on par with the Wooting. I don't have one here to directly compare with at this moment, but I have experienced it and there are no noticeable difference in performance, at least from what I could tell. These are both just really great keyboards. There are some differences in layout, size, weight, and software, of course. But to be honest, the Book 75 is coming home to roost. If it were me, I'm 200% getting this over the Wooting, but that doesn't make the Wooting a bad keyboard at all. Especially if you already own one, there may not be too many reasons for you to upgrade. But for me, there's a couple. I mean, it's snappy, gorgeous in the terms of aesthetic, and it really is where gaming meets upscale custom keyboard. Coming from the enthusiast world or coming from the hardcore gaming world, with this as the meeting point, I don't think there's really much left to be desired. On the Book 75 end, there will be some new software updates coming very soon, which I imagine will take the configuration side of this board even up a notch further. I mean, I hope so at least. Adding a visual representation of the actuation and release happening, like the sales page demonstration, would also do wonders going forward if they can somehow find a way to implement that. Also, it's key to note that you're locked into these switches as compatibility with other magnetic switches has not been expanded upon. I was personally advised not to experiment even with other magnetic switches by Gateron, since these are made specifically for the Book 75. But with all that being said, this board is fire, man. Great work, great work. If you're interested in grabbing the Book 75, I have a link down in the description for you. Thanks a ton for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor and hit the like button. It'll help us reach more people. Have a great day, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.